Hi guys, it's Ananda. Uh, Happy New Year. Um, so, I had a very interesting experience. I got catfished, and in a big way. And uh, so, a guy wrote me on Facebook. Um, his name was Oz Smith. O.Z. Smith, and he was a devotee, and a really hot devotee, and you know me, I like devotees, because they think I am a goddess, I'm their, you know, ultimate sexual fantasy, and that's fabulous, because I'm a big nympho anyways, and very open-minded about sex, I'm like, it's not weird. You can't help what you like. And, um, so, uh, but that's was his fetish, and that was fine. But, um, he was really hot, and, uh, so he friended me on Facebook. We talked a lot, and then, uh, I wanted to Skype with him. And I don't know, if you don't use Skype, you, you don't know, but, um, you don't have to video chat. It's also a texting application, and so he, we'd text back, back and forth, and we talked for hours about all kinds of things, mostly sex, because it's me, um, but geeky things. He was a really cool geek. Uh, met some friends, and wow. If you don't know what that is, well, WoW's World of Warcraft computer game. Um, and he likes my tattoos, my hair, loves Suicide Girls too, likes that I'm bisexual, and Polly. I'm not supposed to say that online, oh my god. My mom's gonna kill me if she sees this. I might cut it out, I don't know, anyways. Um, <laughs> so I really liked him, oh and he lived in Texas. And uh, I live in North Carolina, so it's far away. But I talk to him all the time. I really, really liked him. And uh, he would never get on camera with me, and so I figured him out. Figured, I realized he wasn't real. And um, because he never would get on camera with me, and he said, or video chat, and he said it was because he's paranoid about cameras. And that he has tape on all the, uh, tape over the cameras on his phone and the computer. And his blah, blah, blah. Also on Skype you can do just audio calls. And, um, with no voice. And so we talked on the phone once. We actually had phone sex and it was pretty freaking hot. And, um, yeah. And, uh, so, you know, whenever you do that with someone, there's... You develop emotional connections, and uh, I really liked him. I thought he was cool. I even told him that, you know, I wish you'd really live closer. Blah, blah, blah. I want you to be one of my boyfriends. Everything like that. And, um, and so after a while, he still wouldn't get on camera with me. Then I told him, sorry about the noise if you can hear the dishes being done. Sean's doing the dishes, <laughs> and, um, so I told him, I was like, I don't think you're real. Then I said, but I know a way you can prove it to me. Do you want to know how? And he said, sure. I said, uh, well, a way that, without using video camera. I said, okay, well, you can print a picture of me, because he has pictures from Facebook and Vet Life and whatever. And, um, I said, you can print a picture of me. And then take a picture of yourself holding the picture of me. He's like, okay, sure, fair enough. Well, a few days go by, and uh, I don't hear anything from him. And, uh, and I send him a message to say, hey, what's up? And I get an error back. I said, oh, this message failed. Try sending it again. So I did. Didn't work again. I click on his picture. Facebook says, page not found. 
So he deleted his entire page profile. I was really upset. Really pissed. Really pissed. Because I really hoped he was real. I really did because he was fucking hot. And my age, 27. Yeah. That was my email. But yeah, I mean, really hot, really nice body guy. Sexy as fuck, man. Jesus. Mmm, God. And, uh, See, I really hoped he was real. I got really upset. It pissed me off. And so I didn't hear from him. You know, he didn't have a way to contact me on Facebook or anything. He could have on FetLife. I saw him online once. On FetLife, but I didn't say anything. Because I figured he was just on there stealing my pictures. So he could jerk off to him later before I figured him out. And unfriended him. <laughs> But, uh, I got an email from him, and, uh, it's a really long one, and I read it, and, uh, it was talking about, as you probably noticed by now, in fact, yes, I am not real, because I deleted my account, and blah, 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 but the reason I did it was because I was afraid that if that cute wheelchair girls found out that I was a devotee, they would be creeped out and wouldn't want to talk to me or whatever. And he said, but you are so cool and amazing and I'm so glad I met you and, uh, you know, you have no idea how cool you are about everything and open-minded and bloody bloody blah And so I'm like, okay. Didn't reply. So I get on Skype and um, and I knew one day he would get on. I was just waiting. I didn't message him at all or nothing. And yesterday he got on Skype and I was on there. And I've been trying to call him and uh, but I was like, I want to see you. He's he tried to send me a couple pictures. So nope, no pictures. I won't open a file. Tried to send me a video on Skype. I was like, nope, I'm not opening a file. I'm not. And so we played phone tag for a few minutes. And it kept screwing up. And I saw him one time, but then the connection fucked up. So I didn't really see him at all. But then it finally worked. He called me. He was in his car. I looked at him dead in the eye and said, so I want to know who is the guy. Because that's what I was wondering. I was like, who is this hot ass guy? And where can I contact him? <laughs> you know, do you know him? Is he your brother or something? <laughs> no, he said he didn't know who he was. He said, I literally just searched Google for a hot guy picture and chose that. And then I said, and I played this cool so that I could say what I wanted to say to him. Because if I had just started yelling at him automatically, you're horrible, disgusting, whatever, you know, he would have hung up. So I played it cool. And, um, and I think he really thought that I was going to come around and be okay with everything. And um, so I looked at him after I asked those questions and I said, I'm going to say something. And I looked him right in the eye and I said, you did a horrible, awful fucking thing. And I said, I don't ever want to speak to you again. Fuck you. And I pressed in and I blocked his ass. And damn was that powerful feeling. <laughs> and it was awesome. I really wish I had recorded it, but I didn't think about it. Yeah, but anyways, so, fuck you, Oz. Oh, and he sent me his real name. Full real name. Which is stupid. Because <sighs> I really want to tell people what his name is. He's an asshole. But, um, I'm not going to do that because he's a devotee and I don't want people to get mad at him because he's a devotee. Because there's nothing wrong with devotees. 
and I love devotees. I think you're fabulous, and you think I'm fabulous. You think my shit don't stink, and it does. I can promise you it does. But you can think that about me. I love that you think that about me. So, yeah, it's awesome. But so, ladies, poor wheelchair ladies who. Uh, not that you're poor because you're in a wheelchair. Because people like this exist. Keep an eye out and uh, always be skeptical. Don't let anyone pull the wool over your eyes for too long. And if they won't, you know, give you proof of who they are, they won't, you know, if something's not right, it's not right. Trust your instincts. And I've had a uh, really fucked up week. It started out fucked up. But damn, did it turn around. It's an amazing week now. All that shit is gone. But there's even something else that I might tell you about later that happens. Damn. <laughs> something else horrible that I might tell you about that happened this week. But it's so... The good outweighs the bad so much. So very much. <laughs> and guess what? It involves a lady. Of course it does. It's me. But, um, okay, so Oz Smith. I'm going to give you his email address. Um, it's OZ. Well, I got to check. I'm sorry. Let's see. Um, OZ dot M A N man dot out o u t three sixty at a o l like Oz man out like he was coming out of the closet as a devotee so Oz dot man dot out three sixty at a o l uh, it wouldn't bother me at all if you sent some hymns and hate for you mail <laughs> but not being mean to Adam, being mean because he's a devotee, because he fucked with me, led me on, but he is my age, because he told me that, well, yeah, he told me that, so, he claims to be 27 or whatever, and I really want to say his whole full name, but I'm not going to, because I'm better than him. In every way. So, you know? So what the fuck is wrong with you? Please, God. It's not that you're a devotee. That's not why you're single. No, it's because you're an asshole. Who would do something to someone like me. Like that. Anyways, and uh, on FetLife, I looked it up. His profile, so I could tell you. Guys, his fet name is Ozman Out, O Z M A N O U T, three sixty. Ozman Out three sixty. He says he's ninety five on a male, because you can do that on Fet Life, and that basically means I'm not telling you my real age. And he lives in Dallas, Texas. So, um, yeah. So I got catfished in a big, big, big way. But I figured him out, so I beat him to it. And I said what I wanted to, and I, I didn't let him get away with it. Because that's not okay. I really felt stupid, but Sean told me, he's like, you should never feel stupid when someone is not being honest and telling you the truth or being who they say they are, being dishonest. But, yes, be careful out there on the internet. I love the internet because it does some amazing things. You won't believe what the internet did for me this week. Something amazing. I might tell you about it later. But yeah. Happy New Year. Oh, and January 7th was my uh, 15th year of being in a wheelchair. It's my anniversary of my stroke. So, I was very happy that day. 
But not, not 15 years ago, I was not happy then. But today, I mean, January 7th, 2015, I'm very happy because I'm alive and able to spend my life and my time with my family and the people that love me, people that I love. I get to uh, I have a lot of fun. I may be a choir, but I don't think that should stop me. Life is too short. I was depressed for a really long time, and I'm going on another rant, so I'm not going to do that. I would stop. <laughs> and uh, I hope you like this video. Um, and Oz, if you see this, you're a piece of shit. And it's not because you're a devotee. It's because you're a dishonest asshole. And fuck you. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Yes, my shirt says I like to fart. One of my best friends and his wife gave me this shirt for Christmas. It's from a web comic. I don't know which one, but I'm going to find out, I'm sure. All right. Bye. Love you.